Uh, I like to point out that there are four categories of supply that we simply have locked up and walked away from uh, and done so in a way that is not rational, at least given the cost of energy around the world today or the availability of oil. Roadmap for America's future. Okay, what is this and why am I doing this? Uh, number one, um, I think we need a fiscal plan in this country to address the current fiscal and economic crisis confronting this country. It's not my job if my boss knew she'd fire me. That's fine. The New York Times would beg to hire me. Till then I'd log along. La. The ones that everybody talks about, of course, are the Outer Continental Shelf. And John McCain finally came out and said he was for uh, further production on the Outer Continental Shelf. The numbers I get are that 85% of the Outer Continental Shelf is locked up and we can't use it. No nation in history uh, uh, has locked up its own resources and said, well, we're, we are blessed with these natural resources, but we're going to lock them up and not go get them. And yet that's what we're doing. I would argue that on that one, we did it out of fear of environmental damage and out of fear of site pollution, neither of which are rational because we've now proven we can go after those resources uh, without environmental damage uh, and without site pollution. The second category that everybody knows about and talks about all the time, of course, is ANWR. Uh, I think, interestingly, I think the mainstream media is finally beginning to report how tiny the footprint uh, in, for actual drilling in ANWR would be, uh, rather than just the false perception that it's going to kill polar bears. Oil shale in the Intermountain West, and that's uh, largely Colorado, Utah, and I think Wyoming. Uh, and the estimates there are gigantic, somewhere between one trillion and 1.7 trillion barrels of recoverable oil. And the last one, which my staff can't kind of get its head around and understand that it's different than the one I just talked about, is oil and natural gas under public lands in the Intermountain West. Um, there are lots of Bureau of Land Management lands in the Intermountain West, uh, and even Forest Service land, and even park land, which uh, sit on top of large reserves of either oil or natural gas. Here's basically what my plan does. It achieves three objectives. Number one, it fulfills the mission of health and retirement security for all Americans, albeit through a transformed system, but it fulfills the mission. But it does that while lifting this debt off of the next generation, and it makes our economy and our people competitive in the 21st global economy. So I propose transforming our health care system to a patient-centered, individually driven system. Equalize the tax treatment of health care so that everybody has an equal size voucher to go purchase health insurance to do it in a vibrant individual market so they can take their benefits with them job to job. Taxes. We propose to transform our tax system to do it in such a way that grows the economy, that puts us in a lead, in a position to lead in the global economy. Social Security, we employ similar values. We say for those who are over 55, you're too near and in retirement, uh, to have some kind of a difficult change, you've organized your life around that. More to the point, those young boomers who are in that age bracket, right now they can't necessarily count on those benefits because they're not fully funded. So we say, number one, we're going to fully fund that. You're going to be able to count on it. Number two, we're going to stop the raid of the Social Security Trust Fund and stop spending that money on all those other government programs. And number three, we're going to give young people a choice. If you're under 55 and you want to take a third of your payroll taxes, put it in a retirement account, a, a personal retirement account, you can do that if you want.